In this video, I'll be showing you how I make my TVP burger with oats and mushrooms. The list of ingredients for this recipe are on screen and also in the description, but you can vary them according to your liking. Start off by setting the potatoes for boiling. As the potatoes are boiling, start chopping up the mushroom. Next, move on to crushing the garlic cloves. I use a mortar and pestle, but you can use whatever you desire. The potatoes should be boiled now. You can go ahead and start peeling them and then mashing. Set the potatoes aside when done. Heat the frying pan to medium and add the oil for sautéing. Add the chopped onions to the frying pan and start sautéing. I'm moving the onions aside in the pan to make some room for adding the asafoetida and then the cumin. I'm swirling the oil to make sure that the asphateta and the cumin are poorly incorporated and not in clumps. The next step is to add the chopped ginger and to stir everything together. Next, I'll be adding the chopped tomatoes and uh, stirring thoroughly. Let the tomatoes and onions cook for about five minutes, and after that, we'll be adding the crushed garlic. After adding the garlic, make sure you're stirring constantly to ensure that nothing gets stuck to the bottom of the pan. At this point, I would lower the heat uh, for the next step, which is we're going to be adding the turmeric powder and then stirring. Once the turmeric powder is thoroughly mixed, we're going to be adding the mushroom that we chopped earlier. Once the mushroom is mixed, we can turn up the heat again. Next, we're going to be adding half of the salt and the chopped green chilies to the mix. After mixing, let everything cook for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of cooking, add the oregano and the red chili powder. My apologies for all the steam obstructing the view. So this is what the consistency of the mash looks like at this stage. The next step is to add the oats and mix thoroughly. Next 
next we'll be adding the TVP granules and uh, stirring constantly, making sure that everything is thoroughly incorporated. We need to make sure that the TVP gets cooked for about eight minutes. The next step is to add the chopped up chives and then the cilantro and mix everything together. And once mixed, we can turn off the heat. The next step is to transfer all the content to a large bowl and let it cool. Once the mixture is cooled, we'll be adding the mashed potatoes and making sure everything is mixed thoroughly. Next I'll add the remaining half of the salt from our ingredient list and mix everything together. This could be a good time to do a quick taste test for salt and seasonings and make sure you've got everything where you want them. So in this step we're going to be measuring the flour and uh, transferring it to a different bowl. We're going to be adding the uh, red chili powder, then the garlic powder. After this we're going to be um, grinding some black peppercorn so we're going to be whisking everything together we'll add the uh, salt whisk again and then set the mixture aside So in this step we're going to be adding some oil to the pan and setting it on low uh, we need to form the burger patties for frying. So form the burger patties by taking a small amount of the burger mix and rolling it between your palms and then pressing down into a disc shape. Here I'm showing you how to roll the burger patty in the flour mix. So once again, form the burger patties by taking a small amount of the burger mix and rolling it between your palms and then pressing down into a disc shape. I toss the mix back and forth while pressing in. You can form the burger patties whichever way you like. Here I'm rolling the uh, patty in the flour mix and then I'll set it aside for frying. So in this step um, I've heated up some oil in a frying pan and started putting in the onions that are cut into a ring shape and we're going to be caramelizing them. These uh, ring shaped um, onion pieces are going to be used as a topping on our burger. So the onion pieces have browned nicely. It's time to remove them from the pan. 
So the remaining oil in the pan is going to be used for uh, pan frying the burgers and we're just going to start putting the uh, patties in. I would give these approximately a couple of minutes and then I would turn them over. So give it another couple of minutes of cooking on this side. I like to move the uh, patties around in the pan and uh, the other thing which you might want to consider doing is to push them against the inside of the pan and keep rotating them and what this does is just ensures that the side of the burgers are also cooked. Pretty well everything inside the patties are already cooked it's just the surface uh, dusting um, that is sticking on we want to make sure that that is also cooked. So the patties can be removed once you've got the desired uh, crispness on the outside of them. And then we can start uh, putting our burger together. Um, I like to get a toasted bun, put some vegan mayo. I like to uh, top it with the caramelized onions that we prepared earlier, um, some um, green salad leaves, and um, I like some occasional a little dab of ketchup and um, uh, the orange. Um, um, topping that you're seeing there is peri peri sauce so um, many members of my family like that sauce and um, yeah it makes for a nice combination so the burger patties smell terrific and my mouth is watering because uh, these look so good and um, um, can't wait to start eating <laughs> Please let me know if you have any questions or comments and uh, I really appreciate your time and uh, if you got value then please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks so much. Have a great day.